welcoming environment and the kids, like, the staff understand the kids fully. The culture, language, footy, netball, and just basically you spoke to them about this is what we do at, 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 um, at Balga. You know, they're our own kids, um, they're our people, our mob, um, and just seeing the growth from when they come in to a few years down the track, it's just very satisfying as an Aboriginal person. You can learn lots of um, different things and experience a lot of things you'd never think you'd do at other schools. Costume set is better because you get to play some sports. <laughs> you get to do some Yungar language too. To develop their um, culture so that they can be proud. Um, Aboriginal people telling stories through um, pictures and paintings. For the culture do not die out. Yonga, kangaroo, moon, black, murder, red, gender, grey, warm looking, blue. They know about, you know, and don't be ashamed of, your, of who you are and, and your culture. And they sort of spur themselves on, you know, when we, when we go out and do big performances. Kangaroo, Amy, the hunter's dance, spiritual dance. It's like fun and we get to play lots like, of netball games and that. We play every day except for um, Wednesday. We play. Yesterday we won the grand final. You get a fell from it. I'm allowed to um, do whatever they want to do. We both got to be professional with the play. Hairdresser. A counsellor. Chef. You might be on television and your artist might get sold out. Have a, have an understanding and, and a bit of knowledge, you know, about about us. This is our country. You know, knowledge being passed down from from you know, education maybe better. So, you know, even do a, a cross cultural thing and say, okay, this is this is all about Aboriginal people. And you tell us about your people. Let them learn about each other's culture. No, we made six to see you later.